This mom was in court for a $300 parking fine, but then her daughter told the judge she was starving. Many do not put the words compassion and judgment into the same box, but one man is taking this outdated law into his own hands and massive heart. Also, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to stay updated with our daily uploads. Now back to the story. Frank Caprio is a popular elderly and globally known judge with his court proceedings and judgments televised on the series Cotton Providence. Is your counterpart in uh, this court? I mean, Mr. DeSimone is a prosecuting attorney, uh, Inspector Quinn. Caprio deals with everyday violations such as parking tickets and speeding fines and was appointed to the bar in the late 1950s. This judge chairs the Municipal Court of Providence, Rhode Island. He is known for his merciful approach to the law and those who break it. One such instance, which became significantly popular, was aired in 2017 with Caprio residing over a mother's $300 fine case. She was charged $100 for parking in an illegal space with the extra money added for failing to pay this initial fine. In the clip of the court proceedings, the mother brought her two young children with her to court. Caprio called the eldest six-year-old daughter, Janice, to stand next to him. What is your favorite subject? Um, is it math? Yes. Math. Is it English? Asking her what she wanted to be when she grows up, the young girl replied that she wanted to be a teacher. The judge kindly responded, Wonderful thing for you to do. That's a great job. You get great joy from teaching. However, what he truly wanted from Janice was to help him find out the fairest judgment against her mother's transgressions. Caprio, trying to gain some perspective and context, turned to the mom, asking her why she did what she did. The mother explained, I went to my cousin's house to pick up something. They were having a party and I didn't want anybody to hit my car, so I went on the pavement. From that, the judge presented Janice with three options. Either her mom would have to pay the total charge, only pay the initial $100, cut it in half to 50, or he could get rid of the fine altogether. The girl chose $50, which led to affectionate laughter throughout the courtroom. Judge Caprio then continued the conversation, mentioning that he noticed she and her family had been there since the morning and asked her what she had for breakfast. She replied, I don't have anything for this morning, I'm actually starving. After hearing this, the compassionate judge made a deal stating that if her mom agreed to buy them breakfast, she wouldn't charge them. Janice agreed and the two gave each other a heartwarming hug before she walked off while those in the courtroom clapped. This merciful magistrate's verdicts have not only proved popular on television but have attracted millions of individuals online. Speaking about why he thinks his style and clips are so well liked, Judge Caprio expressed, Around the world, I think that there is a sense that the institutions of government are not meeting people's needs and that it's a very contentious society. What do you think of Caprio's approach to justice and law? Do you think he is too lenient or a breath of fresh air in what can sometimes be a cold-hearted judicial system? In a different but thematically related story, truck driver Rogel Aguela Maderas gets his 110-year sentence reduced as Kim Kardashian and others urged for his clemency. Rogel Aguela Maderas was convicted of causing a car crash when the brakes on his truck failed. A 28-vehicle pileup which left four people dead in Colorado in April 2019. Monteros is a 26-year-old Cuban immigrant who said he moved to the U.S. to provide a better life for his family. On April 25, 2019, Monteros was driving an 18-wheeler semi-truck loaded with lumber along Interstate 70 near Denver at 85 miles per hour when the driver claims the vehicle lost its braking function as he was going downhill on a busy interstate highway. Moderos, 23 at the time, was driving in rush hour traffic for his job at Houston-based trucking company, Castellano 03 Trucking LLC. He tried to pull over to the shoulder to avoid stop traffic on the highway, but another semi had already pulled over. His arrest affidavit said, Prosecutors said the driver missed several runaway ramps designed to help vehicles that have lost control of their brakes. The crash caused a huge fireball explosion, killing four people, it took hours for some of the victims' bodies to be pulled from the wreckage. Lakewood police spokesperson Ty Countryman told reporters. He said it was, One of the worst accidents we've had here in Lakewood. Cops said no drugs or alcohol were involved and the Maderos had no prior criminal record. Maderos had apologized profusely for what happened. He told a packed courtroom during his sentence, I want to say sorry. Sorry for the loss, for the people injured. I know they have trauma. I know. I feel that. But please, don't be angry with me. 
I was working hard for a better future for my family. I have never thought about hurting anybody in my entire life. He was found guilty in October and was convicted on vehicular homicide and 23 other charges and was sentenced last week. The 23 other charges included six counts of assault in the first degree under extreme indifference and 10 counts of attempt to commit assault in the first degree, again under extreme indifference. He also had two counts of reckless vehicular assault, one count of reckless driving, and four counts of careless driving causing death. The truck driver was previously charged with 27 charges and sentenced to 110 years in prison in December of 2021. But now, on December 30, 2021, Colorado Governor Jared Polis reduced Aguilero's Madero sentencing to 10 years, ABC 30 Sports. In a commutation letter to Aguilero Maderos, Polis wrote, The length of your 110 sentence is simply not commensurate with your actions, nor with penalties handed down to others for similar crimes. There is an urgency to remedy this unjust sentence and restore confidence in the uniformity and fairness of our criminal justice system, and consequently, I have chosen to commute your sentence now. The truck driver will be eligible for parole in five years, and a reconsideration hearing is expected to take place in January. Police later comes with Kim Kardashian and millions of others begged for the Colorado governor for clemency. Kardashian celebrated the news on Thursday by tweeting, Thank you at GovUffCO for taking action to reduce Mr. Aguelo Madero's sentence. While his new sentence is 10 years, he will now have an opportunity to come home in five years and be with his son and wife. She followed up by writing, This case was a clear example of why mandatory minimums don't work and need to be abolished. I'm grateful to Governor Polis for his empathy and leadership on this case. Kardashian also shared a photo of Polis' executive order granting clemency for Aguelo Maderos. It states, he shall be parole eligible effective December 30, 2026. The grant of clemency is limited to the commutation granted in Section 2A of this executive order, and this grant of clemency shall not in any way affect the underlying criminal conviction. The news comes about a week after the celebrity urged Polis to free the 26-year-old truck driver. The socialite wrote in a series of tweets earlier this month, For those who don't know about this case, Rogel Aguero Maderos is a 26-year-old who was sentenced to 110 years in prison for driving a semi-tractor trailer that crashed into traffic, killing four people. He was not drunk or under the influence. His brakes on the semi-tractor trailer failed. Another shocking and unfair part of this case is that the judge didn't want to sentence him to such a lengthy sentence. However, because of the mandatory minimums in Colorado, his hands were tied. Mandatory minimums take away judicial discretion and need to end. She concluded by pushing for a change in Colorado law due to the unfair case. But Kathleen Harrison, whose husband Doyle was killed in the pileup, told TMZ that she wanted the socialite and reality star to butt out of the case. She said, I don't think that we want our local proceedings in any state taken over by who has the loudest mouth out there, because people don't know all the details. They are running on emotion. Many have slammed the lengthy sentence, arguing lesser sentences have been handed down to people convicted of other crimes such as rape and murder. Meanwhile, millions of people in support of the truck driver signed a petition to free or lower his sentence. The Change.org petition titled, Offer Commutation as Time Served or Grant Clemency to Roga Lazero Aguela Maderos 23, which was set up by Heather Gibley in 2019, has so far been signed by over 5 million people asking for Aguelo Madero's sentence to be lowered, commuted for time served, or for clemency to be granted. She has also called for the trucking company to be held responsible rather than Madero's. According to the website, it became the top signed petition in the site's history, and that occurred thanks in part to an organized effort by truck drivers. I made this petition because I am native to Colorado, who believes this man is not a criminal and this was purely an accident, she wrote on December 15th. I'm not related to Rogo or any of his family. I simply believe that he doesn't deserve his sentence or these charges. The petition goes on to say, Rogo has said several times that he wishes he had the courage to crash and take his own life that day. This tragic accident wasn't done with intent. It wasn't a criminal act. It was an accident. Truckers all over the country also threatened to stop moving goods to and from Colorado because of the sentence and gained traction using social media hashtags as Hashtag no trucks Colorado and hashtag don't drive Colorado. If you enjoyed the video, kindly give it a thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment section, and share with others. 
Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one.